everyone it's Rosie and I want to show you how to make a perfect holiday glazed ham I have another ham video um, up on YouTube already and you're more than welcome to view that one however um, you know not everyone has the same taste but so I'm trying to adjust this recipe for others that don't like clove and the other stuff that I used on the other ham so this will be more of a traditional uh, recipe with the pineapples and the cherries, but very, very easy, yet affordable. So you don't have to worry about going out, spending a lot of money on rest, uh, ingredients that you know, you're know you only gonna use once or twice a year. The ingredients that we'll be used in this video will be ingredients that you probably already have in your house, okay? So let me just show you. I have my jar of cherries, very inexpensive, and more than likely you can find these at the Dollar Tree. I also have some brown sugar. It doesn't matter if you use light brown sugar or a dark brown sugar for this recipe. I have one fourth teaspoon of ground clove, and the brown sugar was one uh, half a cup. Sorry. I have half a teaspoon of ground ginger. One fourth cup of yellow mustard. And I have some sliced pineapples that are unsweetened, and you are going to use the juice. As a matter of fact, let's go ahead and pour our juice in there right now. Okay, so that's pretty much going to be the base of our glaze. Let's go ahead and dump in that brown sugar. the smell of pineapple juice. It's just, it's just love the stuff. Let's go ahead and grab our fourth cup of yellow mustard. Give it a few whisks. And honestly, if you don't have the ground ginger or the uh, clover, you just don't have both, you can stop right there. But if you want to step up, you know, your game just a little bit, go ahead and add in that ground clove. Go ahead and add in that ground ginger. So like I said, if you don't like clove and you don't like ginger, you can go on and keep that out. What we're going to do now, we're going to go ahead and get our ham all pretty. So I will see you at the next step. Hey, so I'm back and I want to show you how to place your pineapple and cherries on the ham. Now that may sound very easy for a lot of people, but when I started cooking, I didn't know that you needed toothpicks. <laughs> To help them stay on okay I thought I could just put them on and magically they will stick uh -uh. so what I like to do I'm going to let me just go ahead and turn this hand that way for me I'm gonna go ahead and stick that there there you are some other people, um, or should I say some people, also put, you know, the little other things on there. I don't. That's all you need to do. So let's go ahead and do that again.
And if you're using a bone in ham like I'm using right now, you might not be able to go in all the way with your toothpicks. You know, because of that bone, so no need to worry. You know, that's why I'm leaving this out a little bit. And it's okay. People really aren't going to worry about that um, toothpick sticking out there. They're not eating it, you know. Just make sure if you're serving this to kids that you remove the toothpicks because the little kids don't know any better and they might try to eat it. But hopefully you know how to cut up their food anyway. Okie dokie. So our ham is all pretty. Let me just show you the cherries and pineapples if you skip through that part. Which I doubt you did. <laughs> okay, so our next step will be putting the glaze on. So you can go ahead and give it a couple whisks before you pour it on. And you remember our glaze, right? It was that nice smelling brown sugar, mustard, pineapple, juice, clove, ginger. Smells really good. And you know what we're going to do? We're going to go ahead, cover this. Before we cover it, I see some spots that need a little TLC there we go so we're gonna go ahead and cover it we're gonna put it in the oven on 350 and at the end of the video I will let you know how long I baked it okay I'll see you then